evening, my brothers and sisters in the order. And welcome to the Order of Horror. And today we are discussing a tale of the Highland Kelpie. Listen to this tale. And listen carefully. You never know what lies in the surface. The Kelpie, or otherwise known as the Water Horse, is a type of mythical creature that lies in the lands of Scotland. It is said that this type of spirit is either a water fairy or a water spirit from Celtic and Scottish folklore. However, there are many accounts of them also being seen in parts of Ireland and Wales. The Kelpie is also referred to by another name, the Achyid, the witch is known to be seen near locks and seas, while the Kelpie is mostly seen near the rivers. So what is the difference between these two? Not much in this type of form as there is many proof that actually states that these two are exactly the same. These type of creatures are known to be seen near running or still water, such as that as rivers, lochs, and seas, and which surround the Scottish countryside. They are known to transform into such beautiful horses, or even sometimes handsome men and beautiful women. They are mostly known to go after your children and young adults, and can attract their victims putting them into a trance-like state in order for their prey to come closer. Once a person touches their bodies, the victim becomes attached to the creature and is dragged into a watery grave to be eaten, either drowned to death or eaten alive, as their bones start to float back up to the surface. It is highly known that the Kelpie has actually been seen in various different forms. It's been said that when transforming into beautiful females, it attracts wayward men while in the process, luring them towards the water's edge where it takes shape and drags them down. Other accounts also state that when it transforms into a handsome young man to lure young women, this was the order to actually attract them into the water deeps as well. Only one story has ever emerged of a young boy that has actually survived. While being attached to the creature, he took out his pocket knife and sliced off his fingers in order to survive. So how does this story emerge? The story first emerges for one main reason. To get children to stay away from the water's edge, knowing of how dangerous it is. In fact, the Scottish countryside is very vast in the same forms of marshland, bogs, rivers, and as well walks in the sea, and in which surround the entirety of Scotland. Many times over, children were told by their parents to be warned about the Kelpie and not to go near the river's edge. The reason because of this is because of the clothing they wore. Instead of being of normal type of clothing that we know in the modern day, such as cloth made of cotton, the old Scotland were a variation of wool that in which, when soaked in water, it becomes twice as heavy. Don't believe me? Get a bucket of water and a wool blanket. You see how much the weight has doubled. And such, this was a way to actually warn young children not to actually go near the water's edge. As for the amount of people being lured into the water's edge by spirits that of which are in the form of humans, it is said that this was told to females to never go near a male stranger knowing not of his intentions. And as well, this was also a way to tell young men not to venture off with young women in order to keep them true and fair to their lovers. Other accounts also state that the Kelpie is not actually an evil beast, but is a misunderstood or misrepresented type of creature. But what do you think? Do you think the Kelpie is evil? Do you think that it will devour your souls? But I wonder, would you be willing to venture from one of the highlands of Scotland and risk meeting the Kelpie. I wouldn't advise you. Like and subscribe. As well, let us know about what creature you want us to discover. I would be happy to find them. Look to see your human. Watch out for the water's edge.